Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Neville and welcome to Selective Imagery. I started taking pictures when I was seven or eight years old and I really shoot just about everything. And here's some samples of what I take, whether it be sunrises, alligators, birds, birds, birds. It's what I do a lot of right now. But I also do macro. I'll do small animals and I'll do street photography and I'll use my old cameras to take some black and white photos with. So here's a sample of uh, one of my cameras coming up. So I'm a generalist but right now I'm focused a lot on wildlife and birds in particular. So I hope you enjoy my channel and let's get right to the show. Welcome to a day trip to Wilmington, North Carolina. I leave my home in Myrtle Beach at around 4.45 a.m. to go to Wilmington, North Carolina to visit my friend Tim, a.k.a. Mozman, for a photo shoot. I meet him at his dad's house around 6.30 a.m. and after a quick breakfast, we head out to a town named Wrightsville to go to the Wrightsville Beach, which turned out to be fantastic as you will soon see. As we enter the beach area, there are huge dunes offering protection and nesting areas to seabirds such as a variety of terns, gulls, oyster catchers, and one heck of a lot of black skimmers to my amazement and utter joy, I should add. In this first image, you can see an area staked out with two string lines with some colored ribbon to keep folks from getting too close to the birds. The signage attached to the stakes are drawings made by the Wrightsville Beach School fifth graders through support of the Harbor Island Garden Club to benefit the Audubon Society of North Carolina. You will see some drawings to follow and they are fantastic and I thank these children for their support to help protect wildlife in the area they call home. Let us now enjoy some of these wonderful drawings that these children did to make it a little entertaining as you walk around um, all of this uh, roped in area so that we can protect the birds. Wonderful, wonderful work. Once we round the bend, one of the first things we notice along the water that kind of freaks me out a little that has because it has teeth like a human is a sheep's head. It uses these teeth to break through the hard shells of crabs, oysters, mussels, and even barnacles. A willet is taking a stroll along the beach, followed by our first sightings of the black skimmers. Here are some still images, followed by a short video clip to get things started. These birds are known as skimmers for a reason, because they lower their beak in the water and they skim across it, hoping to get small fish, like the size of minnows. Here one flies in to be with its friends, and in this video, you'll just see them uh, hanging around in groups. They like to, um, you know, they'll lay down. Their nests can be nothing more than a depression in the sand. They like to lay in between the grasses that are in the dunes, and the dunes offer uh, some protection for them. They're very vocal, um, very windy this day on the beach, so the the wind noise was very, very loud, therefore um, I'm not playing the audio clip. Uh, it would have been way too noisy with the wind. So we'll just you know, listen to a little bit of music here and watch this video so you can get an idea of the habitat of these wonderful birds.
Here are a few more still images of the skimmers. One flying right at me. Followed by another video clip. And in this video clip it just seems like they're all just having a big conversation. A lot of talking going on. Probably complaining about how windy it is. You know, sometimes they get uh, a little protective. And of course they're in that season where they're, they're mating. Uh, if they've already chosen a mate and someone gets close to it, then they probably try to scare them off. Might get a little bit uh, aggressive. It'll be should be any time now where they they start to uh, lay eggs, but this is just a wonderful environment for them. And uh, I live in Myrtle Beach, and I'm lucky if I see you know two pairs of skimmers at any given time going across the water to get food. Uh, I've never had the pleasure of seeing this many in one place before, so this has been a real treat for me. Wonderful color with that beak and the legs. Now, there are other birds to take pictures of such as this ring-billed gull then we have a sandwich turn followed by a common turn and here's a pair just cozying up next to each other on the sand one by itself around the grasses and then you get some of the structures such as the, some of the houses near the water a boat anchored in the water and then here's another um, video of the skimmers because I mean who can you can't resist the skimmers at least I can't can't get too much of them we'll have a few still images here to come up with some more skimmer shots here's one with a stick in its mouth playing with it this one's flying in to see its mate this one has a small fish in its mouth. And we have another clip to show you. Yeah, they love each other's company. The female here is kicking sand with its feet. It's trying to get the attention of the male, trying to get it to mate with it. And the male is too busy talking and squawking. It's funny though to see the, see the birds kicking the sand around with their feet. And here's an unsuccessful mating episode. And a few more still images coming up. Here you go with the fish in the mouth again. Trying to find a spot to land. A group laying around, relaxing. Another one flying in for a landing. And this will be the last skimmer video that you're gonna see. And this is crazy because you know they're all they're all just lined up here on the sand. And then as you'll see, all of a sudden they just all go and go airborne, something scares them. And <clears throat> all of a sudden I'm reminded of the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. I mean, it was just like, it was crazy good. There were just so many in the sky. 
you know, I'll go up and then they kind of like make a turn, fly around some more, and you're just, you're just waiting for them to come back and land back on the dunes again, which they eventually do. But I mean, this was, this was wonderful. I really enjoyed this. They're all starting to come down now to ground level. And eventually just start landing one by one. I mean, sometimes they get spooked if, uh, you know, if you get some larger birds in the sky, you know, it doesn't take much. It could just be a couple pelicans flying by and it's just enough to startle them and get them all to, to go up and fly for a few minutes. They are fun to watch. Well, we eventually move on and we go to Johnny Mercer's fishing pier, different part of the beach where we find a message left in the sand. Get some pictures of some of the houses that run along the beach. Get some pictures high up off the pier, shooting down. Really nice scenery. Decent waves coming in. The view back at the end of the pier. This is a ruddy turnstone that sadly had a fishing hook stuck in its leg. And we have a view from underneath the pier, which I always like to do those kinds of shots. We finally stop off at Arley Gardens in Wilmington, North Carolina, get a few pictures of some flowers and some walking trails. I mean, it's really nice out here, beautiful for having a wedding. Uh, you know, trees lined with different kinds of ferns, lots of turtles everywhere. Um, little openings in the landscape where you see, you know, places that you could try to find where you have little benches here and there throughout the, uh, the layout of the park. And there were a few flowers, but it's not in season yet. So that's to be expected. But the, uh, the turtles added a lot of fun to the day. They were everywhere. And then there is a beautiful church on the grounds and um, the church, I believe, was built in 1835 and renovated in 1974. And of course, where you have a church, you have a cemetery and a lot more of the grounds in these pictures. And they have a sculpture area. These are all glass bottles and cement. Really, really interesting. And then eventually we go to downtown in Wilmington to get a bite to eat. Uh, we shoot across the waterway to get pictures of the USS North Carolina battleship. And take some pictures of some of the uh, buildings in the area. Just some architectural photos. There was a gentleman that was playing a violin along the waterway. And some signage and someone was making some fresh waffle cones for ice cream. And just a lot of neat things to see. I mean, you can just do shooting downtown forever. So that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe, please. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost you a nickel. I would appreciate it. And as I always say, enjoy life. Capture some of it. Get out there and get some great images. Take care.